Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. So, I did a little bit off-screen griming, griming. Little bit of off-screen grinding. And, uh... Please don't crash on me. Just, just please. I don't, I don't need that tonight. I really, really would like to... Please? I... There oh, is hey. a great horror beneath the manor. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. Alright, so, I ha I did do a little bit of grinding. I replaced some people, moved them in and out. I don't know, just had some fun. Made 8,850 gold, so that's pretty damn solid. So, we've got a number of people up to one level higher, I'm not entirely sure. And, I mean, realistically, they actually made it through there particularly well, uh, without, like, horrifying issues, which makes me really happy. And I'm trying to decide what I want to do here, because uh, saving my money seems pretty important, though I'm not entirely sure why I, what I can spend it on, apart from supplies. Um, this guy was kind of a goddamn champion, and I'm trying to decide if I really want to, you know, have him do stress relief, but it doesn't seem super useful for me right now. We'll think on that one. Either way, let's, uh, I don't know, because we've got, like, the blacksmith stuff, so I could totally train people up if I really wanted to. But I think what we're going to do is actually just do, uh, we're actually just going to do a regular type run and we'll figure it out. Now, before we begin, let's embark. I'm going to pick a team of useful people to go with. Yeah, this is this is the one we I wanted to bring on. So we're gonna bring her. Oh shoot, both of my plague doctors are going a little bit crazy. Well we're gonna bring this one. Okay. So we're going to name uh Maudit after Dodo Man. I take name requests, so if you wanna have a character named after you, either say so in the Twitch chat or if you uh are watching this on YouTube later. Say so in the comments below, and I will name a character after you somewhere along the way. Uh, it's probably going to take me a little while to get through, considering the death toll is not nearly as high as it used to be. And that's a good thing, because it means you'll survive too, but it uh, might take a bit to get to you. Anyway, I'm going to jump ahead just a little bit, because, uh, well, I have to name a buttload of people, and it's kind of a slow process. Let's go, uh, let's go Dungeoneering. I know the Jester is supposed to be a backliner, but at the same time, I need a melee guy, and his solo can only be used from a front line. Uh, let's see. So, it's either... it's either... I... I'm not entirely sure. Oh, he does prefer a backline. Alright, well, in that case, we'll just bring Dota Man and... I guess Boisette, whatever. We'll have two we'll do, we'll have uh, two lepers for the time being. And then we'll switch the party around as we go. I can't always have everybody in there uh, as we go along. And I, I can rename people as we go. Really depends on who survives and uh, uh, everybody's sanity. Because we've learned fairly... Um, we've, we've pretty much learned at this point that it's not a very good idea to go into the dungeon with uh, insane characters. It ends up horribly. And I don't want to deal with that. Anyway, uh, this time I'm just going to bring an extra couple stacks of food. And we are actually... We're, we are going to the... Oh, hello. Interesting. Well, I think I'm going to do that one again. Do we still have our stuff? Okay, good. It reset it. So we're going to bring 12 food with us, and 12 torches, uh, and like 6 torches, I don't know, kind of hard to tell, but we'll do it this way, and hope for the best, because honestly, I did not have a whole lot of luck, in fact, I've only ever, I should have brought keys and shovels, yeah, whatever, we'll figure it out, um, I'll, I'll think about that next time, I, I just, I've only managed to beat this game once, so at this point, I, <sighs> I'll think on it. I'm also trying to be a little bit stingy here. Because sanity is important. And what Either way. Better place to no. Begin than the seat Let's see. Of our noble line. Uh, oh, this looks pretty simple. 
And as far as, like, people not spoiling things at this point, I don't care anymore. I'm, I'm pretty much all good for spo- uh, what? Okay. That's a first, and kind of problematic. Oh, that is bad. So here's the problem. Uh, pretty hard to switch them around given the current situation. Because I don't want to switch the Plague Doctor forward. No! No, why did I do that? Oh, tits. Well, I guess we'll just do this and we'll have the Night People switch forward. Because that seems like the... Oh, God, everything's already going terribly. Right from the get-go. All right. Great. Unfortunately... I have to pass turn... This... This part specifically annoys me about the game. That you can't shuffle turn... Turn orders particularly quickly. Okay. Finally, he can use blinding gas. That could have gone bad. Okay, and... Boisette, back in business, does nothing. Right, Boisette has pretty awful accuracy. But at this point, what we want to do is start actually switching the team. Oh, shoot, I probably should have had Boisette switch. Oh, well, either way. This works, because she can't do anything in the front line anyway. Okay, so, bad things have already happened pretty frustratingly. But we do have a, uh, we have somebody that can do team heals at this point. Unfortunately, her sanity has taken some serious hits. Oh, good. Blade took it out. Glory. You! Beautiful. Okay. So she can do a party heal. That's... Now is a good time for it. Everybody's a little bit injured, but not too much. And there we go. Okay. No oh, good. And he got the kill. We actually get a fair amount of gold. Weirdly enough, killing that guy did not actually... Okay. You need to switch around. I did not know Surprise would actually do that to us. And we, we have to watch the lighting in here, because the lighting is apparently super important. Up, oh, did he just gain a thing? Did he just, like, take drugs in the middle of the dungeon? I guess he did. Some kind of, like, crazy kleptomaniac type deal. Let's see. Oh, it's these guys again. These guys hurt. I do not like these guys. Well, let's just go with party heals across the board. Uh, pretty much no matter what, that's going to heal more than anything else. Now we've got Revenge, Solemnity, hmm, Chop. Well, considering the frontline man is... God, do they both just have, like, the worst accuracy in the world? Yeah, they do. Well, I think they actually have the exact same ability set, too. We've got twins, which is strange, but... <sighs> Yay, sw switching back and forth. Nice thing is both of them can heal. Unfortunately, our sanity healing is a little bit on the, like, low side. So that is a bit of a detraction. Okay, here we go. Plague Doctor away. Okay. Part of the way, at least. As soon as we take out big guy, though, everything gets easier. Oh, sweet. Multiple chances. Stun. I was hoping for the best there. Didn't exactly work out, but this is okay. Okay. That bleed is brutal. Probably should have brought bandages, come to think of it. Oh, well. A little bit late for regrets. And see. <laughs> yeah, no. Lepers could absolutely hit more if they if they would just take off the goddamn mask. It's like they got their eyes just covered. Well, they absolutely do. Uh, but at least we're keeping up on the bleed. That bit is nice. Keep blinding these guys. That's all you need to do. There we go. Yeah. That stun is just vicious, and I love it. Unfortunately, oh, everybody's already bleeding. I was going to be like, hey, they resisted the bleed. Never mind. Turns out, also false. Does not the sharp okay. Blade. Back to healing. Yeah, this is why I brought the extra food along, just in case. Probably should have brought along bandages, come to think of it, but a little bit late for that. Right. You have more health. Take him out. Okay. I have no idea what chat's talking about right now, so I'll come back to that in a bit. When I'm maybe out of combat. Alright, there goes one, and... Perhaps the turning point. It's his turn. Okay. 
was gonna say, I was really hoping that the frontliners would get a chance just so they could heal themselves along the way. Luckily, we actually have three, effectively three healers the entire way through. Oh, right. You know what I just realized? I'd forgotten about that. All right, well, you've got the lowest stress. Let's open up the sarcophagus and it's trapped and it's blighted. You know what bothers me about scouting? Ooh, treasure. All sorts of treasure. Doesn't look like we've got any battles either. Nice. Uh. But, so, I think those are gonna... Oh, that's what happens. Ow. This is why I brought all the extra food. And we get a torch for our troubles. I'm just gonna have him eat some. And we get a torch. And 100 gold. I don't know why anybody would heal, uh, heal, would hide, uh, gold on a torch, but, oh, we got friends. Luckily, both the lepers are, do pretty good a AoE. God, everybody's gonna be bleeding, left and right, though. That's not the end of the world. So really hoping I get stun both. Shit, that guy can attack from the back row? Mm, surprising. Okay. So, couple of options. Honestly, try and take out the front guys, and then once the front guys are down, then I'm probably going to switch the lepers over to healing themselves for the time being. I'd like to get them topped off, if possible. Which is a pretty tall order. Maybe not, though. We'll see. Yeah, they might, I might actually be able to have them switch over to, like, full-on self-healing. Especially because they get... Oh, shoot. Where are you going? Hmm. Well... So he can do nothing but switch around. It surprises me that moves like Solemnity can only be used from certain spots. It seems really odd and like counter counterintuitive for that. Well, either way, party heal. And then I'm probably going to switch over to see a single target healing just because the Plague Doctor is already full up. At this point, it's no longer efficient to do so. Stop moving my party around. Okay, never mind. Uh, before we do healing, we should probably kill her. If I can. Yeah, I totally can. Might. Mm, yeah. She'll go down. Can I. What if I do a disorienting blast and shuffle her to the front? That might actually make all of her moves completely meaningless. By the way, have Bose yet do it. And let's just murdinate her countryside. That sounds weird. Alright, just just a skeleton, we should be fine. Crossing our options. Alright. Oh, you can oh you can turn off the banter in uh in the options. Might do that the next time I go with like a fully insane party. As much as I enjoy the like weird banter that comes as a result of this game, um I would very much like to Yeah, I th I think what we're going to do is go for the heal up to full while fighting one singular skeleton who can't do a whole lot of damage to us. I guess I'm going to slowly kill him that way. Ooh, yeah, he only got... Yep, there he goes. Never mind. Oh, well, that's still a lot of healing. So we've got that going for us. We've got lots of cash, actually. Ooh, resting seal. Uh, reduced food consumed. Reduced damage when starving. Reduced max HP. Oh, is that a trinket? I think that's a trinket, actually. Oh, either way, we've got a... We've got a chest. Let's actually use the Plague Doctor, because he seems to be pretty good at traps. And we get all sorts of junk. Perfect. This is going well enough. Actually, I was a little bit concerned about this, but... Uh, oh, it's not banter. Something can be turned off. Oh, dynamic camera. It can be turned off. Okay. Or either way, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing... I'm just gonna keep using him. He seems to be the anti-trap man. Oh, shoot. It's getting dark. Gotta remember that shit. I always forget. And... We're getting all sorts of treasure. Not much, but it'll be enough. It'll be nice and substantial once we get there. Now, our... We, hopefully, can we scout? We'll see. Is it scouting time yet? No, no scouting? That's a shame. Because that means monsters. Or that. Also, there's also that. Possessed by evil intent. Oh, her sanity did not like that. Nothing must be... Yes, I get that. Nope, well... 
What the? It's already being like It's already been looted. Okay, so note to self, don't do it that way. That's very confusing. Uh, let's see. There's the scouting we needed. Unfortunately, we still don't know about that one other spot. I don't know what that web does. That should be fine. I, I think we're going to be clearing this dungeon. Bandages or no. Uh, considering I've got a fair amount of food left, I'm just going to eat a little. We're probably going to need to eat somewhere along the way. You're good with traps. and You also have a lot of health. Curious is the trap maker's art. Your sanity is not happy about it. By his own eyes. Oh, it's getting dark again. I do kind of wish there was a more obvious, um... A more obvious torch button. Like, in the main menu, considering how often you have to, like, burn them. But not so much, though. Wow, no enemies. Alright, how's our light doing? Light's doing fine. Plenty of scouting. Can I... There we go. I always left-click to, to drag the map around. Doesn't actually work. Okay. You, you're gonna open it up, and what do we get? Glittering gold. More torches. And baubles. I'll give it a little bit longer. In blood. Never mind. Okay, and we've been surprised. Why are people so bad at surprises? It's like they've never had a birthday party before or something like that. Actually, consi considering how, like, grim, char grim of characters they are, that would not surprise me that much. Either way, oh. Somebody's suggesting, what if for the torch thing you could just click the icon at the top? You can't, but that seems like the absolute smartest way of handling it, and that's not what... That's not how it works. Which is actually kind of depressing. Well, either way. Uh, we probably don't have a whole lot of enemies left, so I'm gonna focus a little bit more on violence. Uh, we'll do party healing. Yeah, the, ooh, eight hit points. That was solid. And let him do the switching. There we go. Because at least somebody gets to do something useful. Might as well have it be the healer. Even if it's effectively delaying, delaying the inevitable. Well, not exactly delaying the inevitable, but still. Now, I haven't really looked into leveling up characters at this point. It's something that I'd really like to see how it works. Okay, back to Divine Comfort. Only four hit points, but still. Party heals way more efficient than uh, anything else. You misses. And he can't do anything. Let's switch these two around, see what happens. Because I think some of her abilities can only be used from the back row. Could be wrong about that one. Probably going to want to have him switch over to healing. Uh, I'd like to take out the uh, take out the claw dude first, though. Cause she's an annoyance, but no. Okay, there is that. Forgot about that bit. At least we're gonna have a lot of money to. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of money to go for like sanity checks here, which is gonna be nice. Oh, he wastes his turn to switch with the lady. All right, you need to heal yourself. But yeah, no, click. Clicking that light would be amazing as far as stuff goes. Oh, well, not the end of the world. Oh, jeez. They did not like that. I guess the lighting conditions were getting pretty bad there, too. But nobody's cracked under the pressure yet. I kind of wish you could just leave the characters at town, and they'd, they'd regain sanity as they go along. Like, yes, I know you can spend money to do it, but it seems like you should just be able to, I don't know, leave them there. And they'd have, like, a nice break, too. I'm going to have these guys heal for a bit. I have no idea what we're going to be running into shortly. And I'd rather have people be largely topped off. Mm -hmm. Courageous. Yes. Alright, Intense. You're kicking ass here. And that, that actually fixes people's sanity pretty hard. Yeah, sanity pretty hard. Yes. Okay. And I'm just going to have him... Uh, purple take... Take him out the rest of the way. This Perfect. At least okay. So, unfortunately, uh, it's actually... Let's think on this one. Um... Okay. We probably only have one more battle left. Right in here. Oh, shoot. It's gotten dark. In radiance, may we there we go. Victory. Okay. <sighs> this should be... Ah, uh, tits. I hate it when that happens. Um, 
I, I should not be surprised at this point. I should know that these enemies are here. Well, I've been, like, surprised by practically every room battle. But it's not actually a bad thing that, uh, the Plague, uh, that Purple Phantom, uh, the Plague Doctor, keeps stealing all of the kills. Because every time you kill an enemy, you can, you can generally, actually, um, you, you can generally actually reduce, like, your sanity levels, or you, you can make your character, like, less, uh, sane-er, I guess. Ooh. This is because getting some hits in. It's not appreciated. Uh, but so the saner your characters are, you know, the better they're going to do. So, having the least sane character get a bunch of kills is actually really good. Uh, let's see. Come on, take out the Bone Ravel. Wow. Yeah, we're clearing them out. And Divine Comfort. Not as much as I'd like, but at the same time, no big deal. And finally get Boisette back in, into the, uh, into position. Oh. See a Key Reaper. And this should be easy enough. Assuming we hit. But I'm not terribly worried. Back to healing. Yeah. No, this is this is a really solid team. I I I truly am <laughs> a lot happier now. That, it, honestly, the Plague Doctor is. Uh, I would actually say the Plague Doctor is actually the most crucial part of the team, which is kind of awesome. Um, because Plague Doctor, weirdly enough, does no healing, but boy, does that stun make a huge amount, of, like a huge difference. I never really even realized it, but goddamn, it. It's amazing. Nice shot, Dodo Man. Nice shot. And uh, that kind of helps with the sanity. We get all that stuff. We finish the quest. So I can click the quest to uh, click the thing to exit the dungeon. All right. We actually won. Uh, consider in comparison to last night's general snafuery. Turned out quite well for us. And we also get just a bunch of these things. I think we're kind of low on the, the like paper thing. But everything else is okay. And... Resolve VXP. So, actually, Purple Phantom and Boisette have already been in. So we'll see what we get. So, light above 75, reduce speed. Eh, that sucks. Clotter, bleed resist. Crit, Dacnomania. Obsessed with killing. Hmm. Slugger, increase melee damage. Neat. Let's go back to town.